Hello everybody, Dulce Horwitz and Brianna Garcia, and we are going to talk about something that we both love, tree houses. Yes. And we have some things that we want to say about tree houses. Yeah. Discuss and delve into why we think tree houses are as cool as they are. And a few things come to mind, the path, mm -hmm. the journey on how to get there, the fact that they're kind of up in the trees and that there are maybe this like other sort of thing. Yeah. Um, also. You had mentioned that it's about nature and I mean, they're always in solitude. these spaces that mm -hmm. are remote mm -hmm. and quiet, not the everyday space that we normally operate in. And then also just the spaces are so cool. Yeah. All right. Inside's just fun. Breezy, why don't you take it away and talk about the path? Well, for me, it's an adventure kind of to get to a treehouse. They're always far away. They always seem far away. Even when they're in your backyard, they're they're you know, I think they're meant to be. Yeah. Like that's the idea is that they're supposed to be apart. Yes. They're supposed to be yeah. not of the real world. Yes. Right. And there's always a cool way to get to them. Either like cool stairways or right. a rope or ladders. There's always like a fun way to get to a tree house. Right. Like I think you had mentioned before too, this idea of the, the one in a hook. Yes. Like all the, the strings of bridges that are kind of almost rickety. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an element of danger, yes. maybe the sublime, yes. right? And the, in the same category, I would add that it's a place that's not meant for human beings. It's meant mm -hmm. for a black leopard, you know, yeah. or a monkey or birds. So the idea that humans are not supposed to actually be in the trees. Mm -hmm. So if you're up in the trees, you're already yeah. disengaged, you know, from real life, yeah. you know? So there is like an element of what we would call the other. Yeah, you're sharing a space with the other. With the other. Yeah. It immediately dis it disengages you from your real life. Yes. Whether you're eight and you're a kid and you don't want to do your homework, or whether you're adulting 24-7, <laughs> then you're, the tree houses kind of re represent this idea that you can get away. Yeah. Sometimes people will, will end up with like ships or mm -hmm. airplanes in the trees. And then those things are also not of the yes. ground. You know yes. what I mean? Uh, I remember this, uh, oh, what's the name of this Disney movie? It's uh, the princess, is it the princess and the frog? I know it's Mama Odie's house. <laughs> She's the voodoo uh, princess okay, goddess, okay. right? She, her house is in the bayou in a ship up mm -hmm. in the tree, which Makes perfect sense. Yeah, then. it's an other in an other. <laughs> an other in an other. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to get too esoteric on Princess and the Frog right now, yeah. but it's kind of like saying that because like she's not in any worlds and she can kind of go in between worlds, kind of thing. I mean, you know? I think that's exactly what. I meant. think that's exactly. <laughs> Right. Exactly. And yeah. it works. It yeah. does. It yeah. does. This kind of glowing, as you you look at the images, this kind of glowing ship up in a tree. Okay, so when you take something that's supposed to be in the ground and you lift it up and you put it in the yes. tree, there's the element it of the It changes sublime. the foundation of oh, it. It, exactly. it makes you look at the house as this grounded, like, earthy thing in a different completely, way, completely. Different way. Especially the scale of that one's really interesting. It's got a, a spooky kind of element, yeah. like the Baba... What's the house that has the chicken legs? From oh, the Russian. it's a fairy tale. Oh. Yes, freaky. Yes, super I know freaky. What you're talking about. All right, right. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so the first concept is the idea of this path, the yeah. adventure, yeah, how getting to get to there, there yeah. and the fact that it's divorced from the ground and it's this other kind of world that's up in the air. Yeah, that's number one. Then number two, I'll let you take this one away. You were talking about nature. Yes, I mean it kind of goes along with the journey. Is that the context of tree houses are always in this sublime setting? They're viney or gritty sometimes, or they're just gorgeous as far as normal everyday, like lush. Yeah, green. lush is a great word. Lush yeah. is perfect. Yeah. Um, they're always when you think of trees, whether like kind of small, spindly, or like overgrown. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the like treehouse is still this thing that's not really supposed to be there. But the context is always gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And this again, piggybacking on the things that we were saying earlier, you know, the sublime comes in in the sense that nature's the foundation, not a man-made thing. Mm -hmm. If you're building a treehouse, you're we are conforming yeah. what we're building to the tree. Yes. We're not, you know, doing our, our thing. Own. Yeah. No, we're not like taking dynamite and taking a side of a mountain off, you yeah. know, like we can do. Yes. You know, we're actually saying we can only build this wherever the tree can support yeah, it. Yeah, you're given a, a pallet already. It's no clean right. slate to just... You're like humankind is kind of uh, subverted Yes. to nature. They're secondary. They are secondary. Yes. Yeah. Which is an odd amount of relief, actually, if you think about it. I think it adds to the escape. 
quality, mm-hmm. if that makes any sense. Yeah. Because then you are not in charge. You are not ultimately, there is something larger than you that yes. is there. You know? And I, th- I think with context, the interesting thing about a treehouse is that it's everywhere, right? It's beneath you too. Underneath you. Yes. On yes. the sides, over the top of you. Exactly. You're really submerged and surrounded yep. by the context too. Which adds to the, uh, the level of escape or the level of departure from normal life. Okay, and then the third thing that I know you and I talk about all the time when it comes to tree houses yes. are the spaces they create. <laughs> Dude, these spaces are oh, so, so cool. cool. <laughs> I'm looking at that the that hammock one where it's not even like it's not even a structure. No. <laughs> but it's just well it is. It it's is, like a yeah. rope structure yeah. in between two bigger branches. You'll find that image or something like that image on Instagram, on you know, it anywhere, Pinterest, whatever. Yeah. And they're it's cool. Oh, it's and it always comes with this like oh, it's objective. relaxation. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, yeah. Um but there is also something about so so when the spaces are made inside these limbs, mm-hmm. they, they they're can, forced to be Cocoony. You know, yep. They're small. Th- yeah, to like hug these like branches. Right. They, then they make all these nooks and crannies. Right. That are always so cool to be in or to like get to or, you know. And nooks and crannies. snuggle. <laughs> that's right. And, the, and that's the thing is that nooks and crannies are about that. They're about yeah. the snuggle. They're not yeah. about um, adulting. <laughs> There's no adulting going on. But the funny thing is, is that it's not just like an escape. I mean, when I was little, mm-hmm. I wanted these spaces too. Mm-hmm. It just because it just means uh, there's just some sort of escape cocoon. Like you're not yes. you're not gonna be doing your homework there. No, you know? I mean you could try, you know. But I'm just saying, <laughs> you know. So these spaces and also, um, not yeah. only are they cocoony and alcovey and nooks and crannies, but there oh. again, uh, talking about what you said earlier, there's this path. So sometimes if the actual tree kind of morphs or goes vertical, mm-hmm. then there are these, like that image yeah. on the right, you know, like of In these, the space can create uh, all of these, you know, and, ladders and spirals. And, and they make for cool ways to furnish it, too. The chair might morph into the table. Yeah, the bench is now like a, just a giant trunk that happens to be going through it. Or, right. you know, it's my imagination, like, gets captured by the vertical. If there's any sort of ability for a treehouse to have verticality, yeah. where it goes up the tree. Yeah, yeah. if there's like a mezzanine or loft space somehow In inside, inside the treehouse. Tree <laughs> All right, so I think we've well mapped it, you know, that yeah. this is this is why... They're awesome. I mean, they're we love awesome. the hiddenness. We love the mystery. Cool spaces, just right. all around great. And I think now I need to build one in the backyard, even though my children are grown. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for us on tree houses. Yep. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.